one, uh, I'm going to go over um, Final Cut Pro 10 has went just went over a major update. It went from 10.03 to 10.06. Right, so I'm going to tell you some of the changes. Um, now, the, some of the file formats, um, MXF file imports, um, you can actually edit natively in this codec um, using uh, third-party plugins. I normally just go directly to um, ProRes. Uh, something new also is red camera support. You can uh, do native red code raw editing. Uh, now, of course, um, red cameras are very expensive. Uh, I just use more prosumer uh, camcorders. Another new thing is uh, multi-channel audio. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any multi-channel audio to show you. Um, but it actually breaks it down into the individual uh, channels, like if you do a surround sound or 7.1 or 5.1 or whatever. Now, uh, another big change, and you should see it here, is um, the viewer windows. Normally, there was only one. So if you want to look at the timeline uh, and um, the file browser, you could only you know do it one at a time. Now, now you can you have two, one for the timeline itself, and uh, as you can see on the right, we got the uh, timeline going. Uh, the one on the left is a file browser, and uh, you could use this if you're doing color correction. You want to compare the uh, two videos together, multi-channel or multi-cam editing or something like that. Now you have that option. And you can also put video scopes um, in both ones. Now, of course, video scopes is used for color correction uh, to make sure the uh, colors, uh, red, green, uh, blue, are balanced. And you can also change uh, the, word, way, the way they're displayed. You can go from uh, horizontal to uh, vertical. And uh, that one's kind of hard to use that way, so uh, I normally set it to uh, uh, vertical layout. Uh, just like so. So yeah, there's like a, bit, a lot of great changes, so uh, go ahead and uh, update right now.